G'day everyone, Viv here, welcome back, I hope you're all keeping well, cheers, nice uh, American pale ale that I brewed a couple of weeks ago, it's the first all grain beer that's uh, actually been successful, uh, i.e. not infected, and it tastes delicious, I've already had a couple today, it's a beautiful Sunday day here, or a Sunday day, it's a beautiful day, a Sunday here in Melbourne, so uh, cheers. So, let's wrap up this confusion with channel names. About a month ago, I changed my Rubbish In, Rubbish Out channel name to be called uh, Knights of Dice. Popped up a post on the Facebook page explaining the reasons why I'm doing that. And that was essentially along the lines of not having to maintain two different channels. One for Rubbish In, one for Knights of Dice. Uploading videos to either or both of those channels and trying to sort of solidify that Knights of Dice brand, which I've been relatively not sort of lax with doing much with. But... It's time to uh, wrap that up. I've thought about that now over the last month as uh, I've been uh, having a bit of a hiatus from uh, miniature gaming and modelling and all that sort of stuff, concentrating on the brewing, going to brewing conferences interstate and all that sort of stuff. And, and I, I came to the realisation that uh, if I don't have my Rubbish In, Rubbish Out channel, where do I put up videos about brewing? Where do I put up videos about random crap that I want to be doing here in my uh, studio? That's not necessarily related to Knights of Dice or my business for Knights of Dice or producing miniatures or covering games and all that sort of stuff. I wouldn't have anywhere. So uh, I'm changing my channel back to Rubbish In, Rubbish Out, my Google Plus page back to Rubbish In, Rubbish Out. And that will be the channel where I fool around, have fun, upload randomness to the internet, share little hints and tips, uh, along the way and my Knights of Dice channel will be purely for uh, miniature gaming for Knights of Dice business related uh, activities casting figures producing figures sharing um, some ideas that uh, I have for uh, miniatures that I'd like to produce for games that at some stage in the future I'd like to produce um, and keeping in mind that the Knights of Dice uh, brand is is only a hobby business for me it's something to do on the side of my main business, which I mentioned before is a software company called KV Interactive. Uh, we produce uh, database systems for recruitment and training companies. Primarily, we do a little bit of web design, but not a lot. Um, we we specialize in database development for uh, for those sorts of companies. That's my main business. That's what uh, I've been doing for 20 years, and uh, it pays my bills and uh, feeds my family. And uh, I employ uh, 10 people. It's a if it's a very small business. But um, that's my bread and butter, and Knights of Dice is a, a, just an indulgence for me. Uh, that that company's done well, and um, I'm quite fortunate to uh, to uh, allow myself some luxuries. So the Knights of Dice brand on YouTube and Facebook and Google Plus and all these other online uh, outlets will be purely devoted to Knights of Dice activities. Uh, of our own figures, of our own miniatures, our own games hopefully in the future, as well as co covering other game systems, battle reports and all that sort of stuff. So there will be some changes to the Knights of Dice channel, uh, to both I suppose, to Rubbish In, Rubbish Out. I will be taking a whole bunch of the videos from Rubbish In, Rubbish Out and moving them across to Knights of Dice. So the battle reports that I've done for Saga and In Her Majesty's Name, a whole, a whole bunch of content that I've got here on my Rubbish In, Rubbish Out will be moved across to Knights of Dice. Cheers. And as I mentioned before, the Knights of Dice will be somewhere where I can run around drunk in my armour, upload videos about brewing, um, somewhere for me personally to have a little bit of space on, uh, on YouTube to share some of the stuff that I'm personally doing. So hopefully, um, hopefully that uh, wraps that issue up. Um, I didn't want to do it initially because I got wrapped up in this whole sort of views and subscribers and 10,000 subscribers and over a million views and how many people watch my videos for X number of minutes and all that other sort of hoo-ha and humbug. Uh, and uh, that's not really why I started putting things on YouTube. Uh, I really wasn't expecting things to sort of turn out the way they have. I wasn't expecting to to uh, open a, 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 a miniature gaming store battle bunker. I didn't expect it to be received so well here in the local community. I didn't expect to be having tournaments every weekend and and essentially building some scenes for various games and then watching those games collapse after I closed my store. 
that might sound a bit pretentious, but um, we, we really did quite well in Malifaux, uh, specifically the first edition of Malifaux, and built quite a big scene here, and, and one of my staff, Michael, was uh, instrumental in getting that scene here in Melbourne, at least at Battle Bunker, running. We had uh, tournaments uh, every month, they were packed, we uh, we sold a lot of product and uh, we did quite well uh, for Malifaux and they did uh, uh, quite well out of us, uh, I'd like to think. And after I closed my store and uh, a couple of other stores around the same sort of period closed here in Melbourne, uh, Malifaux really dropped off the scene. It's still being played, obviously, but um, not uh, as far as I'm aware to the extent that uh, it was being when uh, I had the Battle Bunker. So I wasn't expecting any of that to happen and here I am sort of six years later. Uh, after uploading that first uh, miniature related video to magnetizing about magnetizing bases uh, with no intro you don't even see me um, to where 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 I am now I just wasn't expecting that to happen and, and along the way I got wrapped up in how many subscribers I have and um, how many views I get and all that sort of stuff and it's never been about that and I don't want it to be about that so one of the reasons as I was saying um, I, I wanted to keep everything together was to, to hold on to those uh, subscribers and, and viewers and, and all those numbers that uh, people for some reason seem to believe is important. Um, it's not. It's not to me. Um, I just want to be able to share my hobby and enjoy it with people. And uh, to do that I need a space on the internet where I, I, can, I can do that without compromising sort of a semi-professional uh, brand that uh, Knights of Dice are needs to become in order for me to be able to continue doing it. I mean, I've sold a handful of figures since uh, since I started that uh, probably six months ago in uh, April, I think. April, March, April, May, maybe. I picked up those two lines from uh, Ian from uh, Fiendish Fabrications and some of his Gothica miniatures and his Polk 28 Rangers. Sold a handful of figures. Uh, I really haven't been promoting that as much as I, I should be. Um, again, it's, it's, a, it's a hobby outlet for me primarily. There's a lot more that I can be doing with it, a lot more I'd like to be doing with it, and uh, to sort of set up those that that camp, so to speak, I need to have some separation between me, essentially, as Rubbish In, Rubbish Out, um, and, and Knights of Dice. So let the confusion uh, sort of be put to bed, or perhaps continue. Um, who knows, I'm prone, as anyone who works with me knows, that uh, I, I reserve the right to change my mind. And uh, I'm changing my mind, and I put that on the Facebook pro uh, 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 message uh, about a month back. That I'm not 100% sure if I'll stick with this change or if I'll revert back, so I am reverting back. Rubbish In, Rubbish Out will continue to be, as it has always been, a space for me to upload random crap to the internet, including me running around in armour, um, sharing my homebrew-related activities and all that sort of stuff. And Knights of Dice will be purely for miniature gaming and uh, Knights of Dice activity. So I encourage you, if you want to, uh, subscribe to both channels. Uh, Knights of Dice has a very small following at this point. Um, I'd like it to grow larger, obviously, as things continue on. But uh, number of views and number of subscribers and all that sort of stuff is is not necessarily the main game. So there we go. Hasn't been a lot going on for the last month or so, maybe a bit more. Uh, purely because, and I've mentioned this in another video, my hobbies go from a sort of one thing uh, in the extreme to another thing in the extreme. And uh, right now it's the brewing. And uh, my brewery's all done. I've got all my fer fermentation fridges, and we'll talk about that later on. Uh, I want to be brewing some meads soon. Picked up some uh, some chilies and some uh, different sorts of stuff that I'd like to experiment with some brews. So I'm going to do that. And um, that's about it, I think. I can't think of anything else to ramble on. Don't want to hold you here for too much longer. If you've got to this point... Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all of your support. For everyone uh, all across the globe who sends me messages and uh, comments on my videos and emails and pictures and all that sort of stuff, I, I really, really, truly appreciate it. And sometimes it does take me some time to get back to uh, to some people. But um, if you send me an email, you will get a response, um, even if it's just a very short thank you for sharing that with me. Anyway, that's me done. Back to enjoying my Sunday afternoon. A little bit of cleaning up. And then hopefully some uh, miniature related content, both for Rubbish In and uh, uh, Knots of Dice coming up very shortly. Cheers, have a wonderful day, enjoy your gaming, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.